All right, so welcome on in everybody. We're gonna be playing some magic. Um, really gonna overlap poorly. This is where I need the stream deck or a fourteenth monitor or whatever. Fourteenth <laughs> monitor. Yeah. That way. Um. Yeah. So can I get an audio check? Everybody, pretty good. Hear me? Hear Gabe? Hopefully. Hopefully. Should be. Announcement. I know how to type. Do I you? Know to, I know how to type. Do you? Don't question me. playing some magic and um, we're gonna do a little bit of draft so um, I guess as far as the magic stuff goes I know it's not something I normally have here on stream but if you have any questions feel free to ask um, let's go uh, house of horror limited do some let's do Fair better. Let's give it a shot. All right, no waiting. Let's go. Waiting. It's <clears throat> game time. So in draft, you um, get a total of three packs to work with, and they rotate around the table. You have eight players at a table. Each pack has 14 cards in it. Yeah. So you'll end up with a total of 42 cards. Error. You unlock this door, create a token that's a copy of target creature you control, except it's Collection. It's not in a gym, specifically. Triggered ability of a permanent you can hold triggers that ability is traditional. It's Dr. Velma's room. I'm take. It's or it's a little second. I mean, I'm at least willing to give it a try. What yeah. else do we have here? There's a Gremlin head shredder. There's uh, Infinity, there's a Kremlin Tanker, Almond, there's a Terrell Magic, but we will pack one, and Ragged. We're happy just giving this a try. So we just want creatures that we want to copy, and if they happen to have some triggered abilities, that's also good. So we would love to see this wheel, but of course it won't. Probably. I suppose the, um... And this? That's a baker. It's mm. also a smoky lounge misty salon. Goes well with what we thought. True. Already. No, I would not say stick twister is bad either. Uh, yeah, it's magic time, Eternal. That's true. Also, most valuable slayer. Red. This is a I honestly think Misty Salon, there's a Smoky Lounge, and Stick Master, this card for that. Yeah, I, I absolutely love this card. I that think this one's disgusting. a lot of fun. Last night in, in paper, I had this suited up with two 
uh, enchantments that gave it a bunch of bonuses, so it, it had a power of eight. So anytime that an opponent couldn't sacrifice a permanent or discard a card, it dealt eight to them and I would gain eight. Um, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> it was sweet. <laughs> a ley line, a ley locker. Lines. Go all in on, on the rooms. rooms or fear of being hunted. Fear of being hunted as just a good removal. Tung Kavu. Creeping Peeper might be a good one to wheel. I'm either taking Heat Locker here or. I think I'd rather take. I think I'm in agreement with that. As much as, much as I like Meat Locker Drown Diner as a late game, like, draw spell, it's not necessary. Yeah they will wheel all right um not too much notable otherwise we're pretty happy staying in blue red at the moment one consideration for me locker is just to stay blue like we can potentially splash the smoky lounge if we wanted to do that but rooting soul rager it's a very good stack yeah. option there is unable to scream, uh, otherwise known as swords to toy shares. Uh, there is the blue no red land. There is Megalodon, which is okay. And there's a removal spell as well, for five mana and red. I think we just take into Soul Rager. It is incredibly good. Notably in white, there's trapped in the screen. Correct. There's unsettling twins. Black fear of lost teeth. He's this card. As far as like much, as far as one drops good. that matter, this is a one drop that matters. But yeah, we'll take the two drop. Two two mana. drop that it's also very good. In a two two sacrifice a room intruding soul rager deals two damage to each um, opponent and draw opponent a card and draw a card. What do you do? You have each upkeep, each player draws two cards. As long as there are four more cards in your graveyard, each opponent's maximum hand size is equal to seven minus the number of those card types. Not so, very good. Probably useful. Um, Enchanted creature, enchanted creature gets minus three. Go and loot. Um, this pack that we're really. Edward Dagger Holder. Is that what this one is? <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, no. Let's take the Teddy. Yeah. Just as like a card that we can play as just like a two. Uh, so Creeping Peeper. This Windbreaker. This Windbreaker is good. It's just. At worst, a and a two-two with flying, and at best, it's giving our best, our our strongest thing. Very good. Not opposed to a twin. And eternally, you said you were playing Magic a, a fair amount. Do you do a lot of draft? Do you do any draft? Megalodon here. Perfect, nope, perfect thing to make fly. Yes. Adds. Yep. It's all that. Sorry. Origenic yes, infection is the notable. Yeah. In that. Like the red, I mean, yeah, we didn't necessarily get there on red so far, but something to consider. But I think but yeah, we, I think we just take my little megalodon because it's good with the Happy with a big guy. Probably the best card back is we don't want a second mech. You don't want a second mech. I'm perfectly fine with a second mech. Hold on. <laughs> um. We do the. It's not exciting. Correct. It's not exciting. But it is a two mana two one with. Uh, you know what? The good black one. See, we'll see if stuff. 
Addict is good. Stack. Operate. Flying. Um. Locked. I, li I like taking Addict. Well, we could just take a ragged playmate too. Yeah, I, I mean, it's not terrible. Drop that does things. Like, we do want more rooms, but we don't really have a way to splash at the moment. Soul Rager's great. Welcome back from the ads. Uh, we had asked, do you normally do draft? Because you had mentioned before that you played map. Yeah. Good memory there. I have no memory of what I say when I ask people questions. Of course, it's just how it works. <laughs> Um, I don't really care about this, yeah, but just, I, I might take, take it. The list for... In. I don't In. think we're gonna. I think we're final. All right. Not too. Get a second megalodon okay, anyway. You get, you get the second meg. And we so get one of those. Get... Oh, let's play. Chainsaw. So this is a removal with other text. And we need removal. Notable Infernal Phantom. That's something we can potentially leverage later. Vanish from sight is eh. Uh, is not Ripper is not what, really, what we're looking for. Conductive Machete is another option. Oh, what I was starting to say Triggered ability of a permanent you controls triggers, that ability triggers an additional time. When this enters, it has a triggered ability. Correct. It does. So it would actually manifest dread twice. I play sealed when I do to got into draft with bad I wasn't killed most play commander. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so the problem is you can't judge how you'll do in draft based on sealed, because sealed is such a different game. Yes. Um so. No, I would. Oh. Uh, I would recommend checking out draft. It, you know, you get to build your deck. You just have to pick cards that are going to go well together and see how you do. Or the more fun thing is pick whatever color fancies you. Just play it. Yeah. But commander's fine. Commander's great. What's your? What are your commander decks uh, of choice? I was going to say, what's your? What commander deck do you have? Because I just have one, but then there's people like Gabe that have like 15. I don't have 15, <laughs> thank you. I have two. All right. So notable, I mean, this thing is great. Yeah, uh, that's a bomb. Flash, four mana, four, three. You have 15. <laughs> yeah. Great, right. right. that so, is perfect. So of the 15, what's the common thread among them all? Are they all like combo, combo decks or are they... <laughs> Unapologetically. What? Okay, fair. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, we can get our second Leoline. Wizard of Glimmer. That is a good splash for the stack. And we're makes... not really losing out on anything? Like, yeah. don't care about those, don't really care about that. Don't want the Leyline. Oh, five are precons? I mean, there's nothing wrong with precons. I mean,. What Christmas for a couple years gave us a couple precons. Mm -hmm. Your decks are all over the place. Well, that's good. Having a variety is good. Yes, I mean my first deck was Div Mizzet card draw, and I've now swapped over to Ishin to Heavens as one attack triggers. So completely different play styles. <laughs> Arvin. Arvin. Only you were Activated actually. abilities of creatures you could pull don't have the same. Ah. Uh, Reaper King. Yes, of course. Oh, okay. Reaper King, yep. Could pick up a plane cycler just to get that in the deck. That would not be terrible. You to get out. Yes. Yes, you did. Get some new cards. Um, oh, what were they? We're just gonna take the best common in the set here. Um, Blockwork Percussionist. I'm not sure that I necessarily agree that it's best, but it did work against me. 
There's that. Crowd stomper. Otherwise, a lot of nothing. I'm gonna take the land. Like I, I, I don't particularly want this, but I feel like we might want to be able to splash. Rend. What is? Why can't I remember what random is? So we actually don't have that many rooms. At well, even if we don't have that many rooms, the this is not the room I. Correct. Deck is Hans Ericsson. <laughs> yes. And ah, Hans, Hans, run! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our deck is looking a little lost at the moment. So we do have to find some rooms that we're happy picking up. Our third lane? And get another ley line. Um, I don't think we... Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, Rendemaw is pretty good for that deck then. Because <laughs> you could just force more damage and destroy other things with... Reaper King, yeah, that's pretty good. And I'm sorry, it gives everyone goad birds. Yeah, <laughs> they get everyone gets like I think a two-two bird that has to attack other players. Ah, uh, I gotcha. And like you get bonuses for attacking other players. Right. Um, this is terribly important, but we're kind of like. We're not playing Rip Chain. But do take the blue because we want to be blue yeah. anyways. It landed. Whatever happened? Don't want a second one of those. Just take the removal and vanish from sight. It's not great. Find other removal spell for it. Operation. It's a card in the pack. And let's take yeah. Don't need a whole megalodon. All the megalodons. Oh. Reasonable. Oh, that's a reason to splash white. Not a splash. <laughs> that is a splash. <laughs> Enters exile up to one target creature with toughness five or less. When it leaves, the exile will Exalt cards only for mana. Otherwise, there's Painter Studio and Based Gallery. There's a Swords to Toy Shears. Most Valuable Slayer. Want more rooms? We would happy feeling able to scream if we can. I think there was a path draft with a head shredder first and get spinner. Yeah, we had that in our opening pack and unfortunately we didn't take it. Uh, mythic. The mirror. These cards, <laughs> I know. Wild second, Crypt, we're not doing anything like that. Second Soul Rager, also a Glimmer also a Terramorphic. Good. I want. Need Two more. Two drops of goodness. Uh, Blue White Line. Lots of enchantment creatures support in this set for your Daxos, the return deck? Yup. Very nice. Daxos is definitely an interesting Voltron deck. But he's not bad. I mean, two, there's, two, a grand Vigi. Entry, there's a grand entryway as well, which would be good on the splashes. Good point. 
more stacks than Voltron. That is a decision. Yeah. Believe me, I saw someone had was talking about a cube they made of uh, where red blue was instead of control was aristocrats. And that hurt me a lot. So that, <laughs> that is the decision you can make. What do we have for removal? We have chainsaw, we have get out if I decide to play that. You're being, being hunted. hunted. Vanish from sight. Oh. Not to run it. Full Rager. Full Rager is very good in multiples. As long as you get your rooms. This requires having. Yeah. My playgroup. I like to draw multiple cards and play multiple spells. Okay, you can't blame them for that, <laughs> but also it's pretty good when you when you can meta game like that. I feel like we should not have ended up in. Probably. Maybe blue white and taking that gremlin tamer at some. No, that was in pack one, right? This is a bit of a rough draft. <laughs> uh, we'll make it work. We don't need a white green land. It's taken up. Let's get some things. All right. Well, we got some work to do. So with that bear trap, I could potentially take out the white room spell, yeah, because that's, that's not a good spell. Uh, here, not very helpful. <laughs> no, I told you this last time. It does not help. It looks for oh, it the word creature. creature. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's not very helpful. All right. Uh, well, one thing I like to do is just kind of separate out removal and non-creature spells, and then creature. But it gives you a little bit of a better view on where you're at. Yeah, guess that's it. This is a creature. Gives us a. Uh, but doesn't <laughs> yes these are two drafts don't you know i don't think we're playing all four of them no uh that, does. uh that one technically does but it needs to have something else in order to create the creep mm -hmm. each breaker to do we we have Fear of Falling, we have Enduring Curiosity, uh, we have the room for getting the two men. That is it. Oh! At the beginning of your first main phase, add two red mana. Spend this mana only to cast or activate room spells, yeah. which would trigger twice, but that is seven mana to make our three mana card better. That is the downside. Is the seven mana side. Yeah. Fair enough. That's Holy. not a trigger. That's trigger. That's tr That is a trigger. Technically. Mm -hmm. That is a trigger. I mean, so, it, it enters tap twice. Yeah. Yeah. That, 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 <laughs> that is, is technically that is true. A legal game action. Um. All right. What I, do I'm, we want to copy? I think Inquisitive Glimmer is great. It, I want to copy one of our big things. Um, yes, copying one of the big things makes a second big thing. But I'm talking if we want to actually get to the seven mana side of Fractured Realm, or uh, seven 
seven mana fracture. Yeah. The cost reduction twice is good. It also makes other rooms even better. Playing out. Um, but back a look. But a bedhead beastie. Red dude. Leaving a blue and a white two. It's fine. Come out. Target creatures and or enchant. So we can replay a couple of our rooms. Which would give us value. Okay. Sure. Something. Like being able to replay Mirror Room. Yeah, but that means we also want to make sure that we haven't played. Seven mana side. Because if we bounce the seven mana side, that's a lot. Sink back into. Yeah, but I think the front side is what we're. I mean, yeah, that's fair. It's a three mana copy, something we have. I'm a little concerned about our white splash. Like, we ideally, I want to go white there white. and here and here. <clears throat> Actually, one double red card. I mean, red. we hit, it's an 8 8 split, so it's yeah, fine. Yeah. Saying we potentially just go down to 16 lands because we have two cyclers. True. So we can come out. Okay. So we need two more cuts. Gabe knows I like to cut down to 16 anyway. This set feels like you cut down to 16. I just, I just always. 16. I never want to go to 15. But Did we cut a soul ring? Of what? How many rooms? Three. Rooms? So it's. Or no, four rooms. The problem is, I just don't see us sacrificing rooms very it, often. It, it but... does happen. Um, let's say if got all of our rooms out and we've activated all of them mm -hmm. for whatever case, and then start flinging them at our at other car. Yeah. So it, it's very good as a late game, you know, tap and fling something. We actually don't have. Targets for Ragged. Yeah. It goes with Clockwork Percussionist, but we kind of want to trade that off anyways. It'll allow Intruding Soul Rager through, which is fine. Allows Inquisitive Glimmer through. For the, again, that's... Um, uh, Piranha Fly, but it's but flying. But it's already flying. And also, we have a Chainsaw, which makes it so things are going to be higher power anyways. Yeah. Alright, one more cut. Or we could just be the weirdo and run. I I hate being the weirdo. We're all weirdos here. Mm. Um, probably just operate. To be honest, it's it's so dumb when it's act. Like it blocks any power creature, good, but the three trigger only affects you. So you're not going to really get value. We have it. eight enchantment. Nine. And ten, eleven. Count curiosity. Because if it dies. It... Sure, but it's unlikely to trigger that. Yes, well, yes. that's true. Well, they could also just use a room. It's also... Illegal game action our <laughs> opponent. It is better than us floating, that's true. Um We already have a lot of 
I'm just ball. thinking in in our in our ideal world we're winning by flying um what a okay. flyer so then we cut yeah then we probably just cut a soul rager for fear of being hunted actually we could cut a percussionist And the only reason we would cut one of them is because we're down on the mountain anyways. So how likely are we going to get down on turn one? Alright, so this is our deck. Um, don't have a whole lot to sideboard with. If we happen to be playing against someone that has a big flyer, we have this guy. Um, and that's largely it. <laughs> you can also bring in the un unwanted remakes. If worst case, if we need to get rid of something, true. Could Otherwise, potentially just like cut the white splash, add a couple of megalodons, and we'll uh, add a megalodon out of bedhead beastie. Yeah. yeah we one, have two, we have three we cards. Plays. I think we keep inquisitive if we're cutting our inquisitive glimmer is uh, just a. Not strong. That may be true, but if we're cutting white, we still need to have white in here. <laughs> we're cutting. We're cutting the other two white cards. Is yes. what I'm saying. I'm not 